they get it. Tied at 83. Bumpovich kind of liked it. Can't Mobley step into that three ball for the tie? Davis, Baron Davis, Camby, Mobley out there with Thornton. You've got to believe Finley or Duncan here. Roger Mason has it. Five seconds between the shot and the game clock. Tie ball game. See Belcher pass it, gang. Let's sit back and watch. Here comes Duncan. High pick and roll. Mason for the lead. Bingo. Eight seconds to go. And that's pretty good for a player that hasn't been tested a whole lot. And not only the lead, it's a three-pointer. I mean, he just shot into the move. You mentioned earlier, he does very well off the dribble, and he does that. He has 21. The Clippers now need a three ball. Here's what Mason did off the dribble. Stopping and dropping in a three ball. You know what was unique about it? The play really didn't include Duncan for any sort of an option. It, the play was designed for this guy to shoot a long ball. The that, elevation he got on that jump shot. Uh, Mike Dunleavy uh, calls a quick timeout. Well, he Roger Mason having a big night, 21 points. His season high is 26. So Novak is in along with the two Davises, Barron and Ricky. Mobley looks. Baron Davis has it. The screen from Novak. A handoff to Ricky Davis with uh -oh. four seconds. Uh oh. They get the ball to Baron Davis for the tie off the glass. The Clippers lose. Baron got a look, did not get a real good look. He was moving away from the basket. And the Clippers did not get a good look at a three point basket. Was able to square up, but it was long. And uh, the Clippers get their hearts broken, and they fall. Final score here at Staples Center. Spurs win it 86-83. Clippers Live, presented by your Southern California Hyundai dealers, starts right now.